All right, you guys, taking a look at uh, replacing furnace, possibly full system. So we got a 75,000 BTU it's sitting on a pad currently. Looking at replacing this. Uh, this would be the evaporator coil, return air drop. We'll, might be getting into a, uh, a five inch filter, uh, but water heater would have to be moved over a little bit. And then we do have, we got about three inches on this side. We got four right here. Uh, and then we got about an inch right here. So possibility you don't have to move this, but this is already eight inches. Or I should say only eight inches. And then we're gonna pick up a little bit more here. So it's gonna be really close. I think this is probably gonna be drained down and moved over a little bit. And then um, obviously modify the electric, modify the gas coming in and then drain, this is a floor drain. Uh, flue piping, it's hitting a six inch T line set. If we go to replace this, oh, I see why they did that now. Um, we wanna bring this up and over so it's out of this wall. Um, he wasn't too concerned about it. We'll just see what we need to do there, but um, and we got our breaker panel, but I'll just show you this line set, it comes through the wall here we we'll bring it up and over that would be the way to go and then just run it alongside the way it is now and then it goes out so we could do a cut and flush and then at least just get it out of the wall for him so he can patch that And then electrical panel. So got a 30, more than likely that's the AC. This is dryer. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's that one. And this is a ITE Imperial. And if we go out with PVC, we'll look over in this area for PVC. Well, 